Good. Yeah, it's over. Why didn't you just wait? I don't know. Look after Layla, son. I just did it. I wasn't even thinking. We both know that it's a lie. What are you looking at? Sorry. I'll just forget about it and let you die, shall I? No, I'm all right. You don't look it. What happened? I had a bit of a fall, that's all. You want to go home and get some stuff on that? Yeah, I will. I only live down there. It's a right mess. You on your own? I tried to get my mum and dad to come and pick me up. I've been answering the phones. I don't know what I've done now. Right. Sorry. I'm gonna get some right stick for this. What? For falling over and hurting yourself? I get stick for even breathing. So do you live round here? With him. Just moved up to Butler's farm on the other side of the village. Right. Anyway. <laughs> I'd best get going, see what's happening. Keep that. You sure you're going to be all right? Yeah. Cool. We think it might be cracked ribs, but the uh, head cut's not too serious. Oh, God. I should probably come with you just to make sure. It's Aaron Dingle. Hmm? I mean, look at this. How can this be an accident? <laughs> Have you seen Rodney? Rodney! No, no, maybe I shouldn't. Uh, Mark, just get in. Well, how's it going to look? People are already saying what came over that idiot. We really need to get off, folks. No, you're all right. You should stay, but thank you. All right. I'll call you. No. Well, well. Local hero, eh? Me too. Our Aaron could have been dead now if it hadn't been for what you did. I was just the nearest, that's all. I'm still trying to get my head around it. And you think it was already rolling? Well, I'm not swear on it, but yeah, I think so, yeah. Where is he now? Stay well away if he's any sense. Right. Go on then. What was our errand doing? Tearing through the middle of the village and someone else's van. What are you asking me for? Go huh? on. Diane says, have you got any more brandy in the kitchen? Because oh. we're running out. Stop drinking it then. <laughs> I'm going to go and find him, and you better come with me for his sake. Well, John seems to think he might be telling the truth. Yeah, might be. We know him. John doesn't. I had defended him till I'm blue in the face, Paddy, but no more. Dad, you're just getting away. You're, you're in shock. You need to stay. Yeah, what about you? Look, we should get you to... Look, I'm not going to hospital. Give over worrying, Please you? let me call Jimmy. I'll tell him you're all oh, right. Oh, yeah, that's all we need. Him rushing back in a panic. Is he all right? He's a lot worse than me, and I was the one in helicopter night. Sounds like everyone's in one piece, fortunately. Uh, Rodney, I'm not being funny, but why is your van stuck in the middle of Home Farm Shop while you're sitting in the pub? Well, as far as we can see, the kid's lost control of the van and he slammed it into the front of our shop. Were you actually here when this happened, sir? No, uh, Aaron uh, left the post office shortly before I did. But you didn't see him getting into the van? Excuse me, he never got into the van. What? Well, then how is he driving it? Did you actually see the incident, sir? Because that would help. The van was already rolling. Or at least I think it was. Well, you've just come from talking to Aaron's mother. Why would you want to defend a scumbag like that? I was there, mate. You weren't. You think it was already rolling? Oh, you sure? No, he was joyriding it. Look, he's obviously going to go and smash it up somewhere else. Yeah, well, the family does have a reputation, as I'm sure you're aware. Sir? But I was outside and the van was rolling. Aaron jumped on it. Now, as far as I know, he was trying to stop it. Yeah, you're as bad as he is. Careful, mate. All right, Nathan. So he's trying to get to the brakes. Right. And if you hadn't turned it, a bit of pregnant woman, you can go and ask her if you want. She's in the pub. This is ridiculous. So where's the dingle lad now? I mean, why do you imagine he's run off? Because he probably expected the kind of reaction we're getting now. String him up. Yeah, which isn't a bad idea. All right, let's not get wound up, eh? We just need to take a couple of statements. I'd also like to speak to whoever was supposed to be responsible for the van in the first place. Our Aaron just happens to be there. Yeah, yeah, right, of course. He always happens to flaming be there. Where the 
hell have you been? We've been looking all over for you. Everybody was having a go at me. So you just ran off? What did you want me to do? Whatever it is that you haven't done is just put three people in hospital and also caused a fortune's worth of damage that we'll probably end up paying for. So you just thought you'd hide out here, did you? Till the police started searching the place? Because that'll really make you look innocent, won't it? What's that John said? Regardless of what he thinks, do you really think the police are going to believe you? I was trying to stop it. John knows that, so if you don't believe me, then it's tough. I could have let it run Nicola over, but I didn't. And anyway, why is nobody asking Rodney? He's the one who left the handbrake off. If you'd have just asked me before you made your minds up, 